टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट ऑर्गेनोफॉस्फेट पॉइजनिंग ऑर्गेनोफॉस्फेट कंपाउंड्स आर वैरायटी ऑफ केमिकल्स व्हिच आर यूज्ड इन डोमेस्टिक एंड इंडस्ट्रियल सेटिंग्स दीज इंक्लूड इंसेक्टिसाइड्स हर्बिसाइड्स नर्व गैसेस एंड इंडस्ट्रियल केमिकल इंसेक्टिसाइड्स व्हिच आर कॉमन इंक्लूड पैराथायोन मेलाथायोन डाइजिनोन फेंथियोन डाइक्लोरवॉस क्लोरपाइरिफॉस एंड इथियोन herbicides include tribufos perfos and nerve gases include soman serin and tabun industrial chemical is tricrisyl phosphate q toxicity generally manifests in minutes to hours with evidence of muscarinic effects nicotinic effect and cns effects muscarinic effects you can remember by the name dumbbells defecation increased urination meiosis bronchorrhea bronchospasm bradycardia emesis increased lacrimation and increased salivation respiratory insufficiency can result from muscle weakness decreased central drive bronchospasm and increased secretion nicotinic effects include muscle fasciculations cramping diaphragmatic failure and weakness cns effects include restlessness confusion ataxia seizures tremors apnea and coma intermediate syndrome it occurs 1 to 4 days after exposure with organophosphates bulbar respiratory and proximal muscle weakness are prominent features intermediate syndrome resolves generally in 1 to 3 weeks of exposure next is organophosphorus agent induced delayed peripheral neuropathy It usually occurs after several weeks of exposure primarily motor involvement may resolve spontaneously but can result in permanent neurologic dysfunction diagnostic evaluation if diagnosis is in doubt injection atropine 1 mg iv in adults and 0.01 to 0.02 mg per kg in children can be given if there is no anticholinergic signs it strongly suggests poisoning with organophosphate you can draw a blood sample for measurement of rbc acetylcholinesterase activity to confirm the diagnosis treatment of acute toxicity first of all deliver 100% oxygen with face mask early intubation often required avoid succinyl choline decontamination if ingestion within 1 hour Give single dose activated charcoal adult 50 g and in children 1 g per kg unless airway not protected or other contraindications aggressive dermal and ocular irrigation is needed bag or discard the exposed cloths atropine is a mainstay of treatment 1 to 2 mg iv every 10 to 15 minutes until bronchial secretions and wheezing stop tachycardia and midriasis are not contraindicated to atropine use hundreds of milligrams of atropine may be needed over several days in severe poisoning inhaled ipratropium with parenteral atropine may be helpful in bronchospasm pralidoxime 30 mg per kg in adults and 25 mg per kg in children iv given over 30 minutes usual adult dose is 1 to 2 g may repeat after 30 minutes or give continuous infusion in severe cases continuous infusion at 8 mg per kg per hour in adults and 10 mg per kg per hour in children if rapidly administered it can lead to cardiac arrest so it's better to give pralidoxime with atropine if no iv access you can give pralidoxime 600 mg in children 15 mg per kg and may repeat after 15 minutes benzodiazepine therapy diazepam 10 mg iv 0.1 to 0.2 mg per kg in children repeat as necessary if seizures occur but do not give phenytoin prevention healthcare providers doctors and paramedics must avoid contaminating themselves while handling patients with op poisoning cross contamination is highest after massive dermal exposure use personal protective equipment such as nitrile gloves and gowns when decontaminating patients because hydrocarbons can penetrate non polar substances such as latex and vinyl
यूज चारकोल कार्ट्रेज मास्क फॉर रेस्पिरेटरी प्रोटेक्शन